Hey, surf's up, everybody. Welcome to Link's Lounge. I'm ready to play some games. Some California games. I'm your host, BTB, and welcome to the Lynx Lounge. Let's start this first episode off with the pack-in that you got when you purchased an Atari Lynx. That's right, I'm talking about California games, the one and only. There was winter games, there was summer games, but this is California games. First thing you're gonna see is the California Games logo flipping around with an awesome rendition of Louie Louie. Let's stop and take a listen to that right now, shall we? Ooh, yeah, yo, that's what I am talking about. Links, baby, you're not gonna get that sound from anything else. So the games that you have available are BMX, Surfing, Half Pipe, and Footbag. That's right, not hacky sack. Foot bag. Foot bag. BMX is a great game. It's very fun. Once you like really figure out how to master the track, um, it's really fun. It's very fluid. Flipping the bike. Um, got some sweet jumps. I mean, just it just looked great. It was amazing to fire this thing up and play this game. And this, I'm telling you, this was the game that you showed off to your friends. Hey, you still playing those grainy black and white games? That's sweet. Take a look at this. Booyah, in your voice. So the idea is you just go through the track, do the jumps, do some sweet moves, the backflip. Everybody was doing backflips like that in the 80s. Come on now. You weren't cool unless you were doing backflips like that. I was a little rusty booting this game up again, but I got into it after a good while. I tried to play it again today and I I went back to being really bad, so I just I really have to like get at it. And this was the kind of thing, like you popped this game in and you played it over and over and over and over and over again, trying to get your score better each time you played. Let's go on to surfing, shall we? Surf's up! You know, this is the one that really, I think, did it for everybody. This level. This, this level was just so beautiful. It sounded great. The music was awesome. You basically needed to hit the angles properly. So if you went up one angle, you had to come down the same angle, but going the other direction. That way you'd get speed. Your guy would be able to flip up in the air and do all these gnarly tricks. You know, real life stuff. Real life stuff. This is California. You see guys doing these moves all the time on the beach. Look at these waves, man. It is just absolutely beautiful. And then there's the half pipe. Yes, the dreaded half pipe. Now look, I know what the reality is. I know the reality is, is that I will never be a skater. I will never do the sweet, fancy, McTwisty moves and stuff like that. I know that. That's a reality. I'd like to play a video game where, you know, my fantasy could take over and I could pretend that, you know, at one time I was a really good skater. But guess what? This game is like, no, here's the reality. You're a sucky skater in life, and you're going to be a sucky skater while you're playing this game. So eat that. Have a taste of reality while you're playing it. I stink. I, I stink at this part. I do not understand, and I've never been able to understand, the physics of how this works. Give me some fantasy, please. I know the reality. I just want a little skating fantasy. Not gonna get it on this game, though. And the last game on the list is Footbag. This is a typical Sunday in San Francisco. I mean, believe me. You got all these Berlin gamers coming over to the park, right by the Golden Gate Bridge. They're playing the Footbag, and they're just trying to hit these pigeons, these poor pigeons, out of the sky. Happens almost every Sunday, believe me. And I'm from California. Not originally, but I'm, I was, I'm, I live here now, so I see it. 
This is another cool game. This is... there's not really much to do here other than kick a foot bag, hacky sack, foot bag, whatever, up into the air, and you do your little spin arounds, you, you, you kick it, and, and I guess this is, this is a great fantasy for me because I will never be able to play foot bag in real life, okay? So I get to play a game where I am playing somebody else who's really good at foot bag and kicking like pigeons out of the sky with it and stuff like that. Um, you know, this is fun. This is kind of a cool, chill game once you kind of get the mechanics down. Catch it, hit it with your head, hit it with your feet, kick it up, kick the bird, and then you just rack up the points. Keep it in the air, you get points. Hits the ground, no points. Pretty easy. This is a great show piece. I mean, the graphics were great. It was a great pack-in because it was kind of like a four-in-one four, four in one, um, pack. And at that time, really, a lot of people knew winter games. A lot of people knew summer games. And this was California games. So this was a very, very cool version that Epix did. Everything about this game brings me back to the launch. Brings me back to saving my money, getting the links, and this was the game that you got, and man oh man, all of the lawns that I mowed and yard work and all that sort of thing, it all kind of paid off in this package. I think a lot of people love this game because it brings them back to playing it for the first time. I, I know it it's sort of like a nostalgic game to me. I, it might not be the very best Lynx game ever, but man, it really does bring back all those warm and fuzzies that I get when I boot it up. I hear that music, I hear that that funky Lynx sound. I love it. If you don't have this game, this is definitely a game that you want to pick up. If you just picked up a, a Lynx recently, make sure you get this one. I mean, it is a very historical game, I guess you could say, because it was the game that really introduced us to what the Lynx was all about. Well, I want to thank everybody for tuning in for the very first game that we reviewed here on the Lynx Lounge. This is awesome. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe, like. Also, check out the Jaguar, which is the other show that I do. If you like Atari Jaguar stuff, you'll find out that some really cool information there. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week on the Lynx Lounge. Take it easy. Peace.